Hi guys, I'm welcome to a video. So today I got the Samsung Galaxy S8 over here as you can see and today we are going to install the Samsung Galaxy S10 ROM for the Samsung Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus. So stay tuned for that. Right guys, so I am going to split this video into two parts as always, so in the first part of this video we are going to take a short look on this ROM, how it looks like um, and so on, and in the second part of this video we are basically going to install this ROM on our Samsung Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus. Right, so now let us start with the review. Right guys, so this here is a full Galaxy S10 port for the Samsung Galaxy S8, so you will get all of the features of the Samsung Galaxy S10. Um, of course you won't get the uh, hole punch there, but the system will look like the Galaxy S10 system, so there will be no difference between these phones in terms of design of the system. So here on the right side I got my Samsung Galaxy S10 with uh, the hole punch as you can see over there, and these phones have got the same system right now. So you can see both of them are running on one UI, and both of them are also running on one UI version 1.1. So let me confirm you that quickly. Let's go to software information and here you can see that the S8 runs on version 1.1, the S10 does run on 1.12 and my Samsung Galaxy Note 9 which I have over here it is one, one UI version 1.0. So the S8 has got a newer version than the Note 9 together with this ROM which is really amazing. Right, so now let us start to compare these two phones to each other. Right guys, so here on the right side I got my Samsung Galaxy Note 9, so we are not going to compare the S10 ROM to a normal S10, we are basically going to compare the One UI version 1.0 to the One UI version 1.1. So the S8 has got a newer software than the uh, Note 9 on the right side, and we are basically going to check out what does this update bring us? So the S8 usually all, uh, also has the One UI version 1.0, but together with this update you get the benefits of One UI version 1.1, and now we are basically going to take a look at these benefits you get. Right, so now let us start with the comparison. Right people, so I want to start with the lock screen, so here on the lock screen you can see there's absolutely nothing different, the only different thing is that you get this fingerprint icon over there on the S8 on the wallpaper here, because the S10 here has got the fingerprint reader under the display, so of course you don't get this fingerprint sensor feature on the S8, it's still on the back of course, but it has got this new um, look there, which the Note 9 doesn't have so you still have to unlock your phone with your fingerprint on the S8 on the back and yeah so in the first look you can't see a big difference between these two phones of course so the home screen looks pretty much the same on both phones but there are some small differences between One UI version 1.1 and 1.0 so first of all let us start with the uh, recent panel so when you open the recent apps panel so let us open some apps first quickly when you open the recent apps panel, you can see a different animation on the S8. So here you can see the suggested apps has uh, have a different animation. And on the Note 9, you are you always have five apps at the bottom. No matter how many apps you have opened, um, you will always have five apps. While the S8, while the new version only opens uh, or, or only shows you the apps which you had opened before. You can also see that there is a new animation, so you can look at the bottom of the phone. So these icons basically come to the top, and here there's basically a different animation. So let us let me show you this quickly. So here you can see the animation is a bit different on the S8. You can also see sometimes you only have one app at the bottom, so I don't know if this is a bug or so, but yeah. Another thing which you uh, see is that you don't have this annoying search bar anymore at the top. So here you can see you got the three dot menu on the S8, but there is no finder search anymore, which we have on the old version. So I think this was a really useless feature on One UI and they have removed this with this update, which is really nice if you ask me. So now let us talk about the notification panel. So the notification panel looks almost the same on both phones. So I've 
change the colors on the Note 9 together with good luck. But uh, the way it works is still the same, but there are some small changes. So you can see we don't have the search icon anymore there. So there is no search button over there, which we have on the Galaxy Note 9. So this basically came together with the ROM. And there is a new animation when you pull up and pull down notification panel. So here you can see the toggles, they fade in and they fi fade out here. And here basically there is no animation, so they are just there. And here they do fade out and fade in, fade out and fade in, yeah. So this is also something which you don't have on the old version. Right guys, so now let us take a look at the settings app, so you can see the design of the settings app is still the same. Um, so you still have this normal one UI look in the settings app, um, but there are some new features in the Samsung Galaxy S8. So here at the bottom you can see there is something called digital well-being, which is basically not present on the old version of one UI. So now let us take a look at digital well-being. So as you can see, it's a normal app, so it's another app which is not present in the settings app itself. And here you can basically check out how often you have unlocked your phone, how long do you use your phone, how long do you use specific apps like Snapchat, Instagram and so on, which is really nice. So if you are really phone addicted and if you are using your phone like hours or if you are basically refreshing the Instagram feed like hundreds of times a day. You can basically watch how often you did this there and you can limit um, your usage. So here you can see that I've unlocked this phone four times today. So of course I've installed this ROM really new, so I've only unlocked it four times. We got four notifications and so on. There's also something called rinse down. So every time when you use your phone too much or every time when you use your phone at night where you actually shouldn't use your phone, your phone basically gets, gets a grayscale um, display here, which basically makes you get rid of your phone. I mean, basically, it's not really nice to look at a grayscale screen all the time, and this makes you to look at your phone not that much as you did before. So this is a nice feature, and yeah. Right guys, so now let us talk about the camera here. So you can see that the camera interface looks similar to that which we had before, but there are some new things over here. So you can see we have this um, optical zoom button over there, but this basically won't work together with the Samsung Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus just because they do not support optical zoom. The S8 and the S8 Plus, both of them have only got one single camera at the back and just because of that, optical zoom is not available on these phones. Right, so, but the zoom itself is still working, so you can press on there to zoom twice, um, so this is a nice feature, but there's no optical zoom. So, we have also got our slider back, so um, this feature was present in Android Oreo on the Samsung Galaxy S8. Um, something which is strange is that my Samsung Galaxy S10 over here hasn't got this feature here, so there's no slider on the Samsung Galaxy S10. So this may be a feature which is only present in this ROM. Right, um, you've also got your screen optimizer and your different modes from here. And you've also got your normal filters, your normal filters and your beauty filters. And um, yeah, so that's it. You don't have Bixby Vision anymore, so Bixby Vision is not present on this ROM, which is not a big problem if you ask me, because Bixby Vision worked not that great if you ask me, but yeah, so that was the camera. Right guys, so a small disadvantage of this ROM which I want to mention is that you don't have your fingerprint gestures anymore together with this ROM. So here on the Samsung Galaxy Note 9, which I have over here, we were able to use the fingerprint scanner as a gesture button, so you are able to pull down a notification panel once and twice together with this um, 
fingerprint scanner so it's basically not present on the on this rom here anymore just because the s10 doesn't have a fingerprint scanner at the back of this phone so, uh, so the s10 hasn't got this fingerprint scanner at the back and due to that it hasn't also got the feature and since this here is a full s10 port the feature is also missing on this s10 port on the s8 so now i want to show you how to install this rom on your s8 guys so first of all you need to be sure that you have installed twrp on your samsung galaxy s8 and yeah so that's it you also need to download the rom file of course i will um, provide the download link for the uh, for the rom in the description of this video so you can basically download it from there and paste it on your device storage so the next thing which you need to do is to power off your device so now let's do that Then you will need to press the, um, the volume up button, the Bixby button and the power on button at the same time to boot to the recovery mode. Right guys, so here we are in the um, recovery mode. So the first thing which you need to do is to go to the vibe section and swipe. So this will basically delete all of your apps and uh, all of your data which you had in your apps and so on. All of your settings, all of your customizations will be gone. But your internal storage will still be there. So you won't lose your um, stuff which you had stored in the device storage. So your photos and so on will still be there. However, I, will, I would still recommend you to take a backup of these data. Right, so now let's go back, go to the install option and locate the ROM. So I've got the ROM at the bottom here. So basically press on there and swipe to flash. Right, as you can see, the um, TWRP recovery opens the Aroma installer. So this here is the Aroma installer. You will need to press on next, agree to the terms and press next again, say installation. Say yes, make a vibe factory, factory reset, press next, select the apps which you want to install, press next again, um, choose your camera mods, press next again, choose your sound mods, press next again, Let's choose your keyboard, press next again, choose your dialer, press next again, choose your messages, press next again, and so on. So basically follow these instructions and then you will be able to install this ROM at the end. So this process could take like five minutes or so, you just need to wait until the installation process is finished. So as you can see the installation process is finished now and now you can say next and you can also say reboot now. So the phone will reboot now basically, you just need to wait until the um, phone boots up and then you are good to go. Right guys, so as you can see the phone boots up now and this was basically it. So if you liked this video, give a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, give a dislike. If you have questions, you can join our Telegram group. Um, the link is in the description and yeah, peace out.